In the heart of Odisha's political theatre, a seismic shift is underway as the Bharatiya Janata Party takes a resolute stand amidst faltering alliance discussions with the ruling Biju Janata Dal. Now, as the BJP asserts its independence, the decision to forego alliance talks begs scrutiny. Now, why did the BJP opt for a solitary path? What is the BJP's long-term strategy? Why is the BJD tight-lipped? What lies ahead for Orisha's political future? Very simple questions, but complex answers. So let's dive right in. Now in Orisha, BJP has made a decisive announcement amidst the brewing uncertainty. In a statement issued, the party declared its intent to contest the upcoming Assembly and Lok Sabha elections independently. Now this move follows failed negotiations with the BJD, with both parties unable to find common ground on crucial issues. BJP's Manmohan Samal emphasised the party's commitment to fight alone. He returned from Delhi where talks were held, asserting that discussions centred solely on election preparations with no mention of alliances or seat-sharing agreements. Now, meanwhile, in a curious turn of events, key BJD figures VK Pandya and Pranap Prakash Das returned to Bhubaneswar after their Delhi visit. Now, despite speculation, they remained tight-lipped on the status of the negotiations, leaving observers guessing. So, what really led to this deadlock in the alliance discussions? Reports suggest that the BJD sought a significant portion of the assembly seats demanding over 100 out of a 147, a proposition deemed unacceptable by the BJP. Conversely, the BJP insisted on a substantial share of the state's Lok Sabha seats, a demand the BJD was unwilling to meet. Now, this impasse marks a stark departure from the historical camaraderie shared between the BJP and the BJD. Forming a formidable alliance between 1998 and 2009, the parties boasted significant electoral successes, clinching more seats in various elections. Naveen Patnaik, the leader of BJD and a former minister in the Vajpayee government, had forged a strong bond with the BJP. Now, during this period, the alliance secured notable victories, winning 17 of 21 seats in the 1998 general elections with an impressive 48.7% vote share. The alliance further solidified its dominance by securing 19 seats in 1999, slightly dropping to 18 in 2004. Now, as the dust settles on failed negotiations, the political landscape of Orisha stands at a crossroad. With both parties charting independent courses, the road to the upcoming elections appears fraught with uncertainties. 